So the first thing that I will be doing is prepping and priming her skin with my Fix Plus and I'll be using my Beauty Blender to blend it onto her beautiful skin. Now I'm just blending it in to make sure we have a beautiful flawless canvas to apply our makeup on. Next I'm going into my foundations that I will be using on her which will be Born This Way foundation in the color Ivory. And to apply it I will be using my beautiful Beauty Blender. And this foundation is so lightweight but it's medium to full coverage. And I'm making sure I'm blending it all over her face and down her neck. And I'm also putting it over her eyelids as well for any discoloration. And next I'm going into my MAC palette. In my MAC correcting and highlighting palette. And I'm taking the light colors and just to brighten up the under eye, I am using... Um, NW20 and NC20 and I'm just using my beauty blender to dab that under her eye and blend it in and next I'll be setting it with the Laura Mercier powder while baking it so she will stay creaseless throughout the day and I'm also prepping her skin with that on top of her eyelids to act as a base and now I'm taking my contour kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just warming up her face with I believe it's Havana and Nutmeg just to give her some warmth to her face so she would not be a little plain Jane and I'm taking it all over the sides of her temples, her jawline and the hollows of her cheeks Making sure it's wherever she needs some dimension on her face, that's where we place it at. And I'm taking Fawn, I believe. Yes, Fawn. And a little blending brush that I, it's from Morphe. I don't have the name of it, it doesn't have a number. And I'm just taking it down the sides of her nose just to slim it up a, just a tad bit. Nothing too harsh since this is a everyday makeup routine. And then to make it a little bit more slimmer at the area that I want, I'm taking Havana again and then blending it out with a clean brush so it can look natural. Now I'm taking a small dense brush, well fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm just dusting away the excess of Laura Mercier powder that I left well, for baking. Now I'm taking my brow gel. Um, from Maybelline and I'm just taming her eyebrows before I apply any product on them and now I am taking my NYX eyebrow gel in the color X no chocolate and I will be filling in and I'm also taking an angled brush any little brush will work as long as it has a pointed edge and it's flat and I'm just taking that and I will be filling in her eyebrows since she already has beautiful full brows and they're nicely shaped. I'm just filling them in a tad bit where she needs some coverage and shaping them a little bit. Nothing drastic so they can look really natural. Next, I will be carving out her eyebrows just a little bit so they can look nice and clean and crisp. And I am taking a nice detailed brush from Morphe. All the brushes that I use are from Morphe. And um, I'm taking up the lightest shade in my highlight palette and just carving them out. And I'm just blending it out with my beauty blender and now I'm going to use my fluffy brush and um, another dense fluffy brush and using the same contour palette 
that I used for the face for her eyes just to give her eyes some dimension and some contour since we naturally do have contours on our eyes they're not just flat so I'm just putting Havana in her crease with a nice fluffy brush and just using wind, wind wiping motion in her crease to make sure it's nice and blended and now I'm using cream puff from Morphe brushes um, single shadows and I'm just placing that on her lips since it's very close to her skin tone is this nice creamy beige um, matte color and I'm just placing that on her lips so it can awaken her eyes a little bit more and now I'm taking Kiko Cosmetics um, eyeshadow in 200 and I'm just popping that with a eye, pen uh, eye pencil up what is it? A pencil brush and popping that right in the inner corners of her eyes just to give it that nice little sparkle now I'm taking my mascara and I will be applying a coat of mascara on her eyelash on her top lashes before applying any falsies And the mascara I'm using is NYC Mega Point. Not NYC. What and Wild. And now I'm taking my Red Cherry Lashes in the number two, in the style 205. But I am going to put glue and let them dry. And while they dry, I will be highlighting her face with my Morphe Fan Brush and Becca Cosmetics Moon. No, Opal. And I will be spraying my brush before applying the the highlight just to intensify it so I'm wetting the brush and then dipping it in my product and I'll be placing the highlight my brush on her top of her cheekbones the bridge of her nose her cupid's bow and as well as her chin anywhere you want to highlight I love this highlighter and just wetting the brush makes such a big difference it makes it so dewy and so natural it doesn't look too much look at that how pretty and natural it is she's glowing from within guys And now her lashes were dry, so I applied them off camera, but you see how they natural they are, and they are in the style 205, which I love for everyday basis of makeup. Now I'm taking my Morphe brush and my Sephora Romantic Rose blush, and I'm applying that to the apples of her cheeks and blending it back. And oops, a daisy, I did a little mistake, but there's nothing that a beauty blender and some foundation cannot fix. Now back to some blush. Now I'm taking mascara again, and I will be putting some mascara on her, on her bottom lashes, just to give them some length and now I'm taking my NYX wonder pencil in flesh tone and I'll be putting that on her waterline in her waterline to brighten her eyes now I'm taking my nude lippies from Colourpop Jordana and NYX and I'll be lining glossing and painting her lips and now I'm putting some skin to Navia to set her makeup and lock it and this is the completed look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial give this a thumbs up and i love you guys so i hope to hear from you soon don't forget to comment subscribe and like bye